Okay, hello and welcome aboard this Fly UK dash flight from Manchester up to Glasgow. Uh, just a little short hop because I just want to try out some new stuff on the dash of the landing. Apparently, you can land these things on flaps 15, so and you don't really retard the throttles. You power through the flare. So yeah, we're going to try out some new stuff in this and see how we get on. So let's let's crack on then, shall we? So parking brake is set and we have to turn these on only they're uh hmm. Yeah, this is one of the ones we have to Okay, not sure we're not getting any FMC. Well, worry about that in a minute. Don't open the doors. Do it well. I can't open the doors. Can I have batteries? And bus tight. Ah. We have life. That's powering up. There we go. So brilliant. Set that. Whack that. Just waiting for the systems to power up. Sometimes they're already on, other times you have to turn it on. It's um, no run or reason to it. Right, so if we go to data services, doors, uh, exits rather, we'll get those open. Always a bit slow process on the dash. It's one of the things about it that irritates me why you just can't open all the doors in one go. It's pretty annoying. Right. Uh, quest boarding. Here we go. So, main bus tires on, safety equipment check, landing gear, three pins, yep, they're there, engine intake door should be green, there, not, so, let's get that APU started, shall we? That's probably why, uh, they must have no ground power connectors, probably why those went on initially. Okay, they're on. So I've checked radios. We can turn on. We go. FMS on its own, the pressure of the it's at landing altitude. So the altitude of uh, Glasgow Airport is quite low actually, it's only about 26. Surprisingly low actually. Engine starts one and two to norm packs should be on auto. Yeah, recirc fan on. Bleed bleed air off men. Temp control as required. Passenger signs on. Emergency lights armed. See Mr. Side Vents open. No steering off. Flight taxi switch should be in taxi mode. It is your dampener and heading. See your dampener on. And a skid switch should be on. Yeah, 
is now control lock put in place power levers disengage disk and fuel levers condition levers fuel off Let's turn to standby set Q and H. Destination station, uh, no, sorry, departure station. Q and H here is 1021. Q and H plan. Right, so I just need to program in the fuel we're going to be carrying today. Let's get that. Um, okay. So the fuel we're going to be carrying today is going to be 2736. So it's a bit more fuel. And the trip fuel is going to be 957. Okay. Calculate, send data. There we are. So, flight plan, enter routes. So, come up here, we go to nav. We're going from EGCC. So, we're in Manchester, of course. EGCC. Enter. Accept. Now we're going to uh, EGPF, EGPF, just a short flight up in Glasgow. So, uh, menu. Snake part. No, why it doesn't come up. Uh, so we're departing out from EGCC. Accept. We're departing uh, 23 left, I do believe, number 3. And, uh, and that's going to be the pole 1Y departure, SID. Okay, flight plan. Okay, so from pole, it's N601. So one, two, Ribal, number three, and from Ribal we're uh, arriving into EGPF, EGPF, and uh, set, landing a runway 23, the star is going to be a Lanak. 2A, Alana 2A, number 7, it's going to be our arrival. Our approach is going to be number 2. Uh, GLW, GOW, let's have a look because I probably don't want any of those really as a uh, GLW. Yeah, see, they're both uh, over ideally. Yeah, I want to hit GOW at uh, that distance, so we'll put GOW for now, but we'll probably uh, we'll probably edit that. Uh, menu, no data, sorry, uh, services, exits. So, finish loading with plane up. So we'll be able to depart out and momentarily. Yeah. The door is closed. Okay. This is the annoying thing. Now it's closing. Okay, so let's step through the plan. Okay, 
And then we'll see that when we get to Lanak. So we just want Geo 13A, I reckon. So if we delete out that waypoint and we delete out that waypoint, there we go, that's what we want. And if we go to there, enter, there we go. Beautiful, there we are. Now we go to the fuel page. And uh, I don't always put the weights in very precisely. Really should probably. Fuel on board is 276. Thousand two thousand six hundred sixty two seven thirty roughly. Give or take a little bit. Press weight, turn it. I mean, just put. Let's put random values in here. Okay, you can get it all from Simbrief if you want to do it super accurately, but I shamefully can't be bothered. <laughs> Uh, two five. So our wait for departure on flaps ten is going to be about. Uh, let's see. We'll take the upper limit just as a caution. So flaps five. It's going to give me uh, 124, 127. Ah, so we'll put that in now. So landing speed is going to be quite slow. Let's take a speed chart actually. Oh, my landing speed chart here. Anyway, let's exfil the details across. There we are. Marvellous. So the flight plan is all in place. That name is the yeah, flight plan for field transponder. Uh, TCAS. Yeah, let's set the default 1 on VATSIM. Don't really need to even bother with this when you're flying offline, but it's just good practice to do it for when you are. Uh, online. Uh, power levers press toga button. That's in the side. Yeah, power levers should be this. Oops. Toga button. There we go. FMS1 on the nav source. Beautiful. Heading bug set. Runway heading 23. Uh, there we go. Oops. Uh, altitude, so we're cruising day altitude of only 16,000 feet. Just thing here, then. Altitude select BS. There we go, and yes, yeah, there are speed bugs, doors are closed, can we pull anti-collision light on? AP bleed off, which it is, engine start sector engine 2. So we can push back and start now, we need to be pushing back and turning to the left. F push back, nose left. There we go. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. Locking gear. Unfortunately, Charlie, contact tower will be in the middle of the night. Okay, Charlie, 
Parker check completed. Bypass bin inserted. Release parking brakes. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. So, we'll just get uh, the other engine started. Reasonable day in Manchester. Hopefully, the weather's going to be better in Glasgow today than it was yesterday. If it isn't, then we're in for an interesting landing. Sun of Power APU can come off now. Uh, main bus tie can also be turned off. Bounce check condition either is max. Set parking brakes. What a feather selected. Auxiliary pumps on. Standby selected. Flaps. No steering on. Turn it on in a minute once he's disconnected us there. Unlocking gear. Tow truck disconnected. Bypass bin removed. Steering on. Bleeds on minimum. Yes. As for just as far as transmitting as it takes a on. Left is clear. Right is clear. Just snow textures here, it's uh, Manchester, I don't think it's that cold. Bravo. 
Skytrack, please tell me to. Switch to flight. Climb of pilot engage, condition of levers to 900. Go, I bleed, norm. Flaps. Fuel pumps off, with a feather off, with a radar on, Manchester, there we go. Britain looking very slurry, which uh, certainly in the parts of it that I'm currently in, it, it isn't. So we continue our climb out. This blows on to uh, FMS in preparation for uh, landing. Right, 
So Kieran H, we'll set that now. Let's continue our climb. Fairly, uh, fairly smooth at the moment. I'm sure that'll change soon enough. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna limit it to 30 actually. Uh, graphics, let's shove it down to 30. Ready to V-sync off. Looks like I want to stand for my stream. I like to do that. He's back on speed. Still climbing nicely. Take the lights out now. See that signs come off as well. As the weather's uh, pretty reasonable, giving us any trouble. No one knows down a little bit now. We haven't got uh, too much higher left to climb actually. It's a, it's, a, it's a fairly short flight. Traffic in mind, 
Okay, let's start thinking about our uh, arrival. Three A two thousand nine hundred. There we go. Use the throttle back a bit. Top of the settings. Brilliant. There we go. And we're of course set up on our Speed. 
Sorry, just going to go back into graphic settings a minute. Um, uh, a little bit of detail. Yeah, it's about that. It's about that. does this. Bear with me a minute. Yeah, I'm just increasing the level of detail radius because it's just looking a bit blurry in the distances. I don't like that. Hopefully, it won't impact on the uh, settings Four too much. There we go. Ah, that looks better. Brilliant. Right, let me just uh, come back on to here because, yeah. cloud here. Approach, uh, one, two, one, seven, four, one, three, eight, seven, 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 seven,
A bit more cloud about now as we uh, continue making our way northwards. Nine or not, the truck is the park. Okay, 
Slowly edging closer to the top of descent. So remember, we're going to land it on flaps 15. How many? Uh, 23. Well, it's before I've been landing on flaps 35. We'll do it on flaps 15 and see what that does to the uh, profile and my landing speeds. Uh, I really need to get there. Here we are. So, so yeah, we can land at about 117. One flying in icing conditions at 20 knots. So, yeah, uh, the icing conditions. Intercept 2900. Is it taking us uh, too long to get up here? We're just flying over uh, Moffat, just past Lockerbie. Of course, the site of uh, a dreadful uh, incident all those years ago. Incident is bombing, wasn't it? So, really an incident. Phrase that better. I really hope the Microsoft Flight Simulator, because they are bringing snow, I hope the snow is going to be totally dynamic and they're not just going to plaster it over certain areas of the world in the winter going, hey, well, there's a good chance it could be snow. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how they implement it. That'd be pretty, pretty interesting. Itching to get my hands on it, of course I'm not part of the Alpha, unfortunately. A uh, few lucky people are, but uh, yeah, I can't wait to get my hands on it, that's for sure. Okay, let's arm the... Yeah, let's not arm VNet, let's set the uh, altitude lower first, then we can probably arm VNet. Yes, there we go. Down to 2006. Okay. So yeah, we'll be beginning our descent very shortly. The weather is going to be okay, actually. Which is good. Far away from Glasgow. Oh. We put the seatbelts back on now. Local QNH is going to be 1016. Speed. So 117, I reckon we should be able to land this thing at. But. So 
do that, we're going to set to 5 to 15, that we're going to switch back there, as we begin a descent down into Glasgow. Just good timing, so I'll go off and have some lunch in a minute. Get hungry. <laughs> Let's uh, put sure what's going on there. Let's put ourselves on. But we're not going to get down in time, are we? So heading uh, yes. Okay, let's get lights on.
Is that local Q&H? Some miles out. Come back out this way a little bit. Five, five, run it on it, you let's all just right. 
Thank you, good day, for God bless us. I see that's better. Yeah, this is much better. Alright. Finally learning how to fly this plane. <laughs> Well, I'm not getting, because uh, I've still got any Airbus settings, it's probably why I'm not getting chucked around. Did load active sky. Yeah. Oh, keep the speed up, so we don't want to. Uh, problems there. This is really nice landing this plane about. I, I, I should have known there's something wrong. For all my previous uh, dash flights, nose diving into the into the ground. This is this is much uh, this is much better. Obviously, there's certain airports where you'd probably still use 35 flaps. I'd imagine London City being the most obvious candidate there. We're, is this an offset ILS approach? Because we sure as hell don't look very well aligned to that runway. Okay, we're we're going to um, 
take it from here because we're uh, there's something wrong with the runway alignment. There we go. That was swaying about. There we go. Now it's down a little bit. So it's behaving itself a lot more than on flaps 35, I must say. Which swing around a little bit now. Nice down a little bit. So hopefully, oops, a little bit low now, a bit more power. There we go. Okay, now, now we're now we've got the old dash back. Let's get down because we're too high now. He's back off that power. Now, keep coming down, keep coming down, keep coming down. Minimums, minimums. One hundred. Traffic, uh, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. I think we might have over uh, <laughs> done the flare there. We'll have a look in a minute. I suspect that probably wasn't all that far off a tail strike. Missed the high speed uh, exit. Did we? Did we? No, we can still take that. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to Glasgow. That was uh, that was fun. I'm looking forward to reviewing the landing for this. I just think we may just have overflared it on the end there, but uh, definitely. Better than doing it this way than previously, that's for sure. Oops. So let's get ourselves parked up and then review the uh, review the landing. We'll just stick it anywhere like we typically do. Oops. There we go. We come. Uh, where are we going to park? There's no. Ah, next to that right now. I think there's some space. Hello. Where are we going? Oh, I've got to tell you, P3D with its stutters is just absolutely killing me. There we go, we'll stop there. Beautiful. Put that on there. Kill those. We'll have to start it up again in a minute for the replay. I just have to turn it off to farm a P, right? Stop recording. There we go. Excellent. Right, let's get, uh, let's get the plane powered back up. And then, yeah, this landing should be quite interesting. Two for echo. 
Let's go take a look, shall we? Uh, we'll start with... Actually, oh yeah, let's go tarot, yeah, there we go. So here we are. I, I love already the fact we're not nose down, nose diving, so that, that already is better. That's a much better approach profile. And then, ooh, yeah, look at that. That's a lot of flare. No, <laughs> we perhaps, perhaps didn't. We didn't tail strike it. We perhaps didn't need quite that much flare, though. Uh, maybe a little bit more power. But uh, let's get a better perspective. There we go. Decent landing though. That's much better. Much, much better landing it like that. There we go. We'll leave it there. As always, realise you had a choice of flights. Thank you very much for choosing this one. Wish you a pleasant on the browsing journey and hope to welcome you back on board again in the very near future. So from here in Glasgow, that's farewell for now.